I rise to express my support for the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and to encourage my colleagues to support this effort to address our health care system's immediate and long-term challenges in a fiscally responsible manner. For decades, attempts have been made to reform the way our health care system works, but only incremental changes have been made. The result is a broken system where costs are rising out of control and millions of Americans are priced out of the health insurance market. In the last eight years, health care premiums have grown four times faster than wages. If health care costs continue to rise at the current rates without reform, it is projected that the average South Dakota family will be paying nearly $17,000 in yearly premiums by 2016. That is a 74% increase over the current premium costs that so many already struggle to afford. Throughout the ongoing health reform discussion, I have heard from far too many South Dakotans who currently face barriers in excess in quality health care. This can be due to exorbitant out-of-pocket costs, having no insurance coverage, being denied coverage by insurance companies, or limited or no health care providers in their area. The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act addresses these barriers, in part by extending access to affordable and meaningful health insurance to all Americans. This legislation stands up on behalf of the American people and puts an end to insurance industry abuses that have denied coverage to hardworking Americans when they need it most. Insurance companies will no longer be able to deny coverage for pre-existing conditions. CBO also projects that this bill will result in health care coverage for more than 94% of legal residents in our nation. Our citizens deserve this basic security while improving current Medicare benefits. This bill is a product of months of research, committee deliberation, and bipartisan negotiation. I have listened to some of my colleagues' claims that they support health reform, but yet object to this approach. These protests echo those made nearly 50 years ago when a new program called Medicare was proposed to provide meaningful health benefits to seniors. The increasing cost of health care is unsustainable and the do-nothing approach hurts all Americans by robbing us of this historic opportunity to stop talking about problems and finally find a solution. This bill is not perfect, but a yes vote will allow the conference committee a chance to improve it. The U.S. is the only nation among industrialized democracies to not have some form of national health care. Yet the Senate Republican Party is attempting to deny us the right to work, to vote this historic legislation up or down. They want to kill it even before it has the chance to go to conference. I urge my colleagues to support the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act 